असूयस्ताम्रो अरुणौ तप भ्रुस्सु मंगल ये चेमा रुद्रा अभी तो दीक्षुश्रिता सहस्रशो वैशा भुमेण ईमहे दीज आर द मिस्टीरियस लाइन्स फ्रॉम श्री रुद्रम रुद्र प्रश्न द नेम्स ऑफ प्रेज ऑफ रुद्रा हिमसेल्फ वाई आर वी स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस नाउ we come to the 25th nakshatra out of the 27 the purva bhadrapada also called the first of the blessed feet symbol is everything here in this nakshatra to understand this because now we are talking about the two rudra kind of nakshatras purva bhadrapada and uttra bhadrapada okay there is a difference and we need to understand this carefully Purva Bhadrapada is represented by a fire dragon the one legged ancient divine fire dragon also symbolized by a pair of crossed swords as you see there the nature is fierce and the deity is ajayika ekapada meaning the one who is immortal eternal one legged fire dragon so the energy as you can see if it is fierce and it has fire in it and it's a dragon energy for all you light workers listening out there if this is playing out dominantly with your personal planets and so on in this nakshatra you have a big life lesson ahead of you and the only mantra that can help you is rudra prashna let's see now life lesson in themes of purva bhadrapada So it falls between 20 degrees of Aquarius and goes up till 3 degrees 20 minutes of Pisces. So now we are closing up Aquarius in the first 3 padas and last pada goes into Pisces. What is the energy of this mysterious nakshatra? It's creating fortune through challenges of life. Transcendence of purpose itself. intense energy it's got a strong dragon energy connection to it so all those who resonate with the dragon energy pay attention this might be a dominant theme in your nakshatra in your chart they have a tendency to look back on their life to learn from their past mistakes learning from the dark side of life these people can have the greatest devotion almost on the side of being a fanatic extreme determination they are very patient they are sincere and hard working because they have a lot of troubles in life this is the life lesson of purva bhadrapada to learn from the extreme difficulties of life so they can be sincere and hard working they can have a dualistic personality types very dualistic what do i mean by this something which is very different like two living two different kind of lives altogether they might be working a daytime job somewhere and in the night time they might be doing something completely different like a dualistic personality nothing wrong with it except you got to learn the stuff and know how to harness it the meaning behind understanding nakshatras is how to harness the power you have you have some power everybody does another theme of this is they can be fierce because there's a lot of fire energy it's fierce okay and its nature is of a fire dragon so it can be very fierce in nature so you got to harness that one there can be a theme of over contemplation and overthinking thinking too much going round and round in around the same thing till they dissect it why the energy of rudra is to get through all the illusions and come down to the real thing but in a very fierce way in an uncompromising way so they can get into a lot of overthinking they can be headstrong in the first pada or the second pada even because aquarius goes into taurus they have a bridge between divine and human evolution that's why this can be tough everything human has to do with material wealth how do i look good how much bank balance do i have whereas divine has nothing to do with it, it cuts through all the rubbish and wants to get to the root of things so it, it's kind of an oppositional energy in duality 
they are intense communicators especially in pada 3 aquarius going into gemini they can be emotionally unconventionally intense in pada 4 because it's both the water signs pisces and cancer this is the first pada of pisces it can be very intense because it's moksha pada and it's a water sign going into water sign again so you almost trying to come back from pisces to cancer meaning you're trying to bring it down to grassroots level in this one but in a very realistic way the life lesson finally for purva bhadra pada nakshatra people if your dominant number of personal planets points mercury venus mars etc is there you need to know this the dissolution of materials in sacrificial fire for higher purpose in other words finding true depth brings peace to internal anger internal fire anger is what internal fire basically you're trying to say something but you're saying it for the kind of a a sword kind of energy cutting through all the rubbish getting down to the brass tacks that's purva bhadra pada 101 getting to the brass tacks cut the bs and let me know the real stuff here that's purva bhadra pada dissolution of materials in sacrificial fire what is the sacrificial fire we are talking about it's your own internal anger if your anger and frustration purva bhadra pada is there which it will be it is meant for a higher purpose which is what to finding the true depth only that can bring peace to your internal fire internal anger okay so mantra that would be enormously beneficial is rudra prashna asking the questions to rudra asking the divine fire to calm down and please explain to me what is it that i need to do in this lifetime how do i get through this mire of difficulties purva bhadra pada is riddled with difficulties in life so it's a challenging nakshatra right but it has also got the fire dragon and in this new energy is the fire dragon is waking up it's a very fiery kind of energy we live in now the ages that this nakshatra becomes active is 18 21 24 37 39 45 61 63 69 67 67 67 quite an active nakshatra so depending on what age you are in and which house is active and which planets are deposited in this nakshatra those themes will become very active transformation through fire okay the ceremonial fire or in this case what we are talking about life lesson as your internal fire all right next we shall be talking about the twin brother of this uttra bhadra pada take care be safe